Hello guys, Mark Dad here. Welcome back to Jack and Atster. So now we have these things to deal with. Let Zig deal with uh, most of them if I can. With metal heads, I say shoot first and Ask questions win. later. Yes, sir, Here's Mr. Ziggy. I believe this is the second one. Uh, it's been about a day since I left off at work and. Other stuff, you know, I'm a busy person. I got stuff to do too. Or so I'm told. Alright. Boom, baby. See ya. Boom, baby. One less metal head to think about. Next Get some health, some ammo. I hate how quickly they can get up to fight back. It's very annoying. Jump up and grab the bridge to bring it down. Alright. I'll let you take care of them then. What sucks is I think in this mission there's no checkpoint. As far as I'm aware of. I think that's the one flaw in the Jack and Natster games, if I recall correctly. Uh there's not really a checkpoint so much. It's either you beat it or you don't. Alright. Come on. Oh! What sucks is I think if Zig gets hit, you have to start all over. what I call blowing someone's mind. <laughs> I guess so. Blowing someone's mind. Yeah, we're almost done. Not too far away now. I don't have to let Zig get hit too much either. Shit. Now he's got to start all over again because I fucked up. Get the fuck away from him. Oh my god. Alright, he's got it. All right, I think that should do it up to... Wow, he lost a lot of health. Ow, why is it not... Why does it let me shoot? Buddy, you don't wanna piss me off. Fuck. Hey, my gun's Take over. Yeah, my gun. Trying. Let me get all the skull gems real quick. Hold on, Ziggy. Yeah, and one hit and you're dead. And I'm fucked. No! Come on, call good. Last one. Tell crew we got them all cooked and canned. I'm gonna clean Peacemaker and pick up the trophies. You did good, rookie. Thanks, Zig. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Alright. Let's go uh, get an orb. If I uh, remember how to get it, that's not how you do it. Still got my slushy left over. I think there's an orb over here.
There we go. Now I got 11 of the bad boys. Get a few more and I should be alright. Yeah, so... Putting guns in Jack and Daxter, at first I was like, well, I don't know about this. And it went from I don't know to this is fucking awesome in about 10 seconds, so... The scatter gun is a little hard to use at first because it doesn't have any of the upgrades. But later on, it's actually not a bad gun when you get uh, a few of the upgrades on it. So uh, let's get out of here and go see crew, and maybe we'll have another mission for Torn. Whatever, whatever comes first. Whatever is the closest thing. I do have missions I prefer to do first, but for the most part, whatever comes first. Oh, I have enough uh, skull gems, it appears, so I can uh, get a new dark jack power. So we'll go do that first. Dark Jack, Dark Jack, powers, powers, do, 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 do. I love the soundtrack for Jet for the Jack and Daster games too. They're, they're it's pretty good, in my opinion. We all have our different opinions. All right, got twenty-five. I actually very much like that power. It's my second favorite. They have another power that's really cool to use later on, but unfortunately, I think I think I get it near the end, which kind of sucks. Oh well. Ooh. Yeah. So I basically just recorded an episode yesterday. I think then I just chilled out the rest of the day because the gardener came he made a bunch of noise and then my Mexican neighbors they put on like I guess they're having some kind of party so they threw some big old bashing party and had music blasting most of the night and it was pretty annoying so I didn't get to do much then I had work but I got tonight off it's only like 7 o'clock or 6 30 or whatever it is and uh whenever that comes past uh it'll take about let's see Hour to record. I'll have plenty of time tonight to record. Uh, there's a few other things I want to do. And uh, unfortunately, I was very good not to put any dead space out because Sophie called me the other day. is like, yeah, I'm back in San Diego. I was like, well, you brought your PlayStation with you so we can still do what we need to do. She's like, yeah, but I don't have an HD TV and my PS3 requires an HDMI cable and... My TV also just has components, or doesn't even have component either. It's like, alright, I see your point. So, uh, when you gonna buy a new TV? She's like, I'm not. It's like, oh, right. So, Dead Space, gonna have to wait. Right. So, whenever she comes back or gets a new TV or whatever, we'll fix that, but, oh well. You know, I don't even remember if it's, uh, if you can actually lose the Crimson Guard. You might be able to after a while, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so you, you can lose the Crimson Guard after a little while. All right, let's go see what Cruz got for us now. You boys are turning out to be quite useful, eh? Mm, I have another task for you. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me before the Baron installed security devices. And before those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. I bet you've hatched another brilliant plan in that hungry little brain of yours. So, who or what do we have to shake down, knock out, or blow up? Well, I need someone to go down and shoot every sentry gun in the sewers. And I'll give you a sweet weapon upgrade if you succeed. Let me guess. Dank murky water? Reeks worse than your breath at an oyster fest? 
fuller of metalheads than your plate at a one-pass buffet? And of course, weapons more lethal than your ever so tidy whiteies on a hot summer day. Look, Donut Hole, why don't we float around here looking hot and heavy, and you go roto root the pipes? We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. Oh, I should have had some boat kneecaps, eh? All I know is that the Baron caught a desperate dealer with a metalhead leader. Metalheads need ego, so the Baron supplies them with regular shipments. In return, the metalheads agree to attack the city just enough to satisfy the Baron's continued rule. <laughs> yeah, but how long can that deal last? Well, the Baron is running short on eco, eh? And the metalheads are short on patience. Baron Praxis needs this wall to keep in power. Otherwise, the city would put the true ruler on the throne, wherever that little brat is. Daxter and I will clear your sewers. And we haven't forgotten about that weapons upgrade you promised in return. Bloodsuckers. Nothing so far. Man! Ever since Jack got a voice, he knows how to deal. Oh man. Oh well. Get this car. Obviously the Crimson Guards don't care that I just robbed some dude. Oh well. I like the Crimson Guard uh, Hellcat carriers. Those things are pretty cool. That's the red one on the left right there. And then the, the bikes they have are kind of cool too. Oh man. I tell you. Yeah, so Jack is pretty sleazy. I mean, he got the information. We're going to get a weapon upgrade. My bad, I was grabbing something to drink. I've been really thirsty lately. But uh, this commentary stuff does kind of hit the throat after a little while. So, I've uh, been watching a YouTuber named Jesse Cox. Uh, he does uh, Let's Plays and other stuff like yours truly here. And uh, he's playing The Witcher 2. Now, I've had a few people tell me The Witcher is kind of a game that would kind of suit me. I've never played The Witcher. Freely admit this, never played it. However, after watching that, uh, some of that playthrough, I've come to the keen idea that I might end up buying The Witcher because it actually doesn't look too bad of a game. It's got all the elements of an RPG, which I like, plus it's got swords, which I like, and it's got nudity and violence, all the things I like. It's like, what's not to like about The Witcher? Oh. All right, get some eco, turn on the lights. Don't worry about that for now. The trick with, the trick with the turrets is, is to jump. And don't touch the water, cause the water will take health out of you. Also, if I remember correctly, things like the, do that, yeah. Gotta watch out for the, uh, that actually scared the crap out of me. See, they don't have more stuff like that. That I like that little that little scare factor. They put that in there, but they don't ever do it again. I mean, if you do it so you don't do it enough, like if you do it just a few times, it's good. But when you're just like, yeah, we're going to do it one time, try it, then never do it again, it's a little disappointing because it's like you kind of had something there, you know. It was kind of cool, and then you just never did it again. But it, Jack, Jack and Dats are still a great game. Jack choose a great game. This is probably the harder game out of all, all three of them. This this one here is the is the hardest. Mission wise, they they fine tune the game later on if I uh, remember correctly, or they fine tune Jack three. Where do I go from here? Go back. Okay, I'm already filled on Dark Eco. I've not needed to use Dark Jack. 